Hey all, Silver Plains here, and today we're playing Super Mario Maker 2, and we are going to check out the top 5 most popular Super Expert levels of the week for the week of January 17th, 2022. So let's jump into it. Alright, and here's our list for today. Um, kind of funny, it looks like my uh, new level is in the number 7 spot. This is really early Monday morning, so I'm sure by the time you're looking at this it'll be a lot lower, but... I mean, for now, that's pretty cool, and Miami's new level is in number 6. Um, so I thought I'd show you guys those levels, actually. Just my clears, I recorded them on my Switch. I don't want to go through them, because I don't have a whole bunch of time today. Um, and, like, my level, honestly, I'm not that great at reclaims, and it took me an hour to clear check, so who knows how long it would actually take if I gave it a shot right now. I do want to show you one cool thing about this. I uh, worked really hard on some Princess Peach pixel art. So, as you can see right there. Very cool. And if you go left after you beat the level, you can actually hit a checkpoint and go into a door to get a closer look in the level. Alright, and then here is the clear of the level. So it starts off with a reclaim, a trick that I still somewhat struggle with. Like, it's not like I can be very consistent with it, like with shell surfs and stuff, but I am getting better. So I wanted to put that trick in the level just so that I could practice it a lot. And I think it's helped me um, even more uh, along with like the Sauce Powder and Mickey Rudy levels that I played, so... Yeah, um, pretty simple though, it's got like a chill middle section after the reclaim where you do a spring drop and a surf and a shell jump, and then the dry bones part is actually pretty tricky. So, the ending you have to like jump out of the shell right before you bonk your head and grab it and throw it left really fast. So, anyway. And then this one is uh, Miami's new level, Late Nights with Nadrops, a Team Shell level, and I enjoyed it a lot. It does end with a spring drop. Um, I was lucky because the second time I got to that part, I hit the spring drop. Um, I know some players have uh, struggled getting through just that very last part, but I'll show you that clear too. So here's my, uh, my clear of this level, and I did share this clear on uh, my Twitter as well. So if you're on Twitter and you like watching Mario clears and stuff, I, I tend to share quite a few of them. And this level's super cool, it's got a lot of really fun setups and just all around good shell stuff. So grabbing the spring off the spikes, a little bit tricky but not too bad. And then other than that, let's hit up the top 5. So number 5 we've got Dingus Maximus by Sauce Powder. Level made for Slade's 24-hour stream, mostly full jumps, Team Slade. Mostly full? Okay. That sketches me out just a little bit. And Sauce Powder, he makes some awesome levels. I've played quite a few of them uh, and featured some in these videos. And a Team Shell video as well, so... Let's see how this one goes. Oh, okay. I wasn't ready for the Caterpillar, the Wiggler, if you will. So really cool level here, you just kind of go with the flow and trust the indicators. Stuff lines up beautifully. And then like that, that's obviously not a full jump, so when it's not full jump, it is super obvious, and I appreciate that a lot. You're not like guessing with what your jumps are supposed to be. Alright. YB and over? Ah, that's so cool! Yep, it lines up perfectly. So yeah, great level by Sauce Powder. And, uh, you know, hopefully I can get good enough to beat more of his Team Shell stuff. I have beat a few of them. Uh, and they're very challenging, even like the 2.5 and stuff. But yeah, really, really great creator. Um, definitely check that out. That's a great level. All around good stuff. Let's move on. Coming in at number 4, we've got Go With The Flow from Bufflin. You won't remember anyway. Bufflin is another really good and talented creator, so cool to see him in the top 5 this week. Thank you. 
Wow. Ay, ay, ay. Woo. He knows right when to slow down the auto scroll. Good lord, that was crazy. Very cool level, though. Very fun. Um, everything just kind of lined up and flowed, honestly. Very well orchestrated setups. Coming in at number three, we've got Claudio's Cumpleaños Platformer by Kaitoj. Happy birthday, Claw Crazy. Feliz Cumpleaños, Claudio. I think that's how you say that. I don't know. Feliz Cumpleaños, something like that. But yeah, very, very cool. Let's see what this one's all about. Okay, I see. Just got a minimum bounce. Big bounce, minimum bounce. I like making sound effects sometimes when I play. Just a little, you know, pew, pew, pew. It's fun. Alright, do we have a checkpoint? Yes, we have a checkpoint. Whoosh! Okay, I'll stop though, I will. I'm sorry. Oh, my head! It got wrecked and there goes my shell. I need that shell. Wow, very cool. Loved it, that was awesome. Such great setups. Ah, and I'm dead. Alright, here we go. Keeping the momentum over the plants. Jumping some stuff. Controlling my jump. Yes. Yeah, that's uh, that last jump tripped me up a couple of times, and I just had to briefly let go of jump to catch up with the shell. So, kind of interesting to end it with a controlled jump like that, but not tricky by any means. Just threw me off slightly. So, very great level, though. Another, another just awesome course. Look at this, we got a uh, Bufflin Plus Plus, so one of Bufflin's alt accounts, uh, coming in at number two with Pizza Getty, one plus one equals three. Which is kind of like that Radiohead song, two plus two equals five. Interesting. The timing of it all. So you just gotta time these setups correctly, it's kind of interesting. And you know, somewhat forgiving still. I like it. Very cool. Ah! That was scary. Am I supposed to... Hmm. Okay, hold on. So this is all about timing. And it's kind of tricky. But I like it. Yeah. That's very, very cool. Great setups. I'm so thankful for the uh, checkpoints, too. Wow, what do we have here? This looks nuts. Okay. There we go. That was a scary and fun and really cool level. And I like how short all the sections were, because uh, they were all very, very hard still, um, but being so short made it like really easy to process what was going on. So that was cool. I enjoyed that a lot. Let's move on. All right, coming in at number one, we've got P-Switch Kingdom by Quick7H0M. For the P-King, P-Switch jumps required. Two checkpoints. All right. 
And Quick is such an amazing creator and a really nice person too. Um, always love seeing his levels in the top five and it's cool that this one's at number one. So it just goes to show how great of a creator this guy is. Ah, uh, whoops. Okay, okay, gotcha. All right, here we go. Nice. Ooh, scary. One, two, three, four. Wow. All right, we got a checkpoint. Huh, wow. And another checkpoint, alright. Um, pfft, okay, I botched it, but that was really cool. I see what I'm doing there. Alright. So there, there, there. Alright, cool. So that wasn't too bad. The claw really threw me off the first time I got to that part, but... Yeah, overall, that level just flowed, and it had some unique setups, especially the uh, the circular track with the P-switches on it and the Chain Chomp. I've never seen that before, and that was a really cool way to buy time until the path opened up. So, all around great levels today. I will throw all of these into the description if you want to check them out. And also, I've noticed that YouTube is still deleting my comments, so... If anyone has any comments that they've got deleted lately, please send an email to admin at silverplains.net and I will take a look at it. I can get you onto my approved commenter list, that way YouTube doesn't do that. But I think they just have some sort of automatic spam filter. I've reached out to them for help, they're not much help honestly. So it's been very frustrating because it's not like I get a bunch of comments and the ones that I do get are genuine and they're just disappearing on me. So I'll get a notification that I have a new comment and I'll go to look at the comment and it just says this comment has been deleted. So it's driving me nuts. I'm fighting that battle and hopefully I get it figured out. Uh, but yeah, in the meantime, if you guys are commenting and not seeing your comments show up, please reach out to me. Uh, you can even send me a whisper on Twitch if you want. Uh, my username there is Silver Plains. Or you can reach out to me on Reddit, Lame Custom Gifts, and, you know, either way, I'll, I'll get you helped out. So, email, Twitch, Reddit, whatever, GameFAQs, I'm also Silver Plains on there. So, whatever your preferred method of contact is, I will, you know, be more than happy to help make sure that your comments show up on my videos. So, yeah, and other than that, I just hope you all have a great day, much love, good vibes, and I will see you next time.